carrot is the name of the vegetable apple is the name of a fruit coat is to sleep okay tuhin tell me this one coat is to sleep as book is to mama paper very good excellent tuhin good evening ma'am good evening amshikta book is to paper then we have avishikta how are you beta after a long time how are you avishikta i am fine great tell me this one avish a moving staircase is an example of a calico tell me this one avishikta after my mother out my mother found out that i had broken the see what ma'am what are we doing we are doing english grammar beta yeah choose the correct word okay ma'am can i write in the chat angry Yes, very good, Abhishekta. Angry. Excellent, Abhishekta. I'm angry. After my mother found out that I had broken the vase, but she no. was angry. This one, number A. Recipes are. Okay, this one, Yashika will tell me. Yashika, tell me, Bata. Yes, ma'am. Recipes are usually found in a cookbook. Excellent. Very good, Yashika. We found in a cookbook. Ma'am, your voice is getting lower and higher. Yes, Rajdeep, tell me this one. Question number six. It's a network issue, Yashika. I'm coming. Shop, store, or museum? Which is the odd one out? I'm sorry. Do he need to correct? No, ma'am. Which one will be the correct one, do he? Ma'am, museum. Very good. Excellent, do he? Excellent, Yashika. Why museum? Can you explain, do he? Ma'am, because we buy things from shop and store, but. We do not buy things from museum. Excellent, very good. We just go see the things and come back home. Excellent too. Shop, store, museum. Museum is the odd one out because from shop and from store we can buy things, but in the museum we can only. This is the voice in the video. Is that is why the voice is getting lower? Maybe that's the reason. Okay, the next one, uh, Avishikta, can you tell me? Yeah. Avishikta number seven. Use the odd word out. Aunt, friend, cousin. Friend, cousin. Absolutely. Why friend? Can you tell me, Avishikta? Okay. Anyone can explain why will it be friend and not aunt or cousin? Aunt? Cousin? Ma'am, can I tell to him? Ma'am, wait, ma'am. Ma can this I explain? Friend? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, Avishikta, tell me. Aunt, cousin, or relative, and friend. Ma'am, friend is friend. Yes. Yes, Yashika, tell me very good, Avishikta. Well explained. Aunt and cousin are related to our family and friend is someone who are not related to our family. Okay, very good, Yashika. Now, Tuhin, can you give me your explanation? Yes, ma'am. 
aunt and cousin uh, live with us and in our family but friends uh, who is good but not lives or not in any family very good excellent to him friend and cousin a friend is the odd one out because aunt and cousin both are blood relation choose the correct option to complete each sentence last sunday minus aunt took her to the circus the picture okay this one rajdeep tell me beta Rajdeep, unmute yourself and tell me, beta. I'm on the wall. Excellent, very good. Picture is on the wall. On. This is the correct option. Choose the correct option to complete. Do he tell me this one? Yes. I was very good to him. It is center. I am born on twenty second August. You all can pause my video, give the answer, and then check whether your answer is correct or not. Okay, Abhishekta, tell me this one. The picture is. On the wall. Excellent, Abhishekta. The picture is on the wall. Ma'am, in yes. the video I heard question number eight. It question number eight. It said it will be I am. In the video. Was it said I am? Wait a second. Okay, first Yashika, tell me this one. What? Oh, this okay. We. What is option number C? Yes, yes, tell me. We go to visit my grandparents every year. We go to visit my grandparents every year. Yes. Visit my grandparents. Now that one. It yes. It said wait. I am. We go to Just a second. Sunday, Minus and took her to the circus. This one, I which one will be the correct one according to you, Yashika? According to me, it is was, but in the video I heard it said that am. It can be both am and both was because I was born on twenty second August or I am born on twenty second August. Both are correct, beta. Why okay. are both of this correct? Because you can say that. Um, I'm am is because na, we talk about ourselves and was is because we talk about time. Yes, excellent. Because we are speaking about ourselves. Like I am born on twenty second August. Can you tell me what is my age? Again, I was born on twenty second August. So today is my birthday. Is it clear, Yashika? To him, Avishikta Rajdi. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Great. The picture is on the wall. On. This is the correct option. Choose the correct option to complete each sentence. I am born on twenty 
second August. You all can pause my video, give the answer, and then share. Okay, Udit, can you tell me this one, beta? Udit, unmute yourself and tell me this one. Udit, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Tell me this one, beta. The picture is on the wall. Excellent. Very good, Udit. Check whether your answer is correct or not. The picture is on the wall. Okay, Udit, tell me this one, beta. Udit, are you there? Can you tell me this one? Yes, ma'am. We are going to visit my grandparents every year. Is it correct, Shuanshu? We are going to visit my grandparents every year? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, no, ma'am. Yes. Why? Yes, ma'am. Why is it not correct? Because... Because, because ma'am, it is telling of every single year. It consists of the present and future. And our going our is saying about only the future. Very good. Actually, this is a simple present tense. We are doing it every year. Every year or every day the sun is rising on the east. Every year we are we go to visit my grandparents. So it will not be we are going to visit my grandparents every year. We go to visit my grandparents every year. Is it clear, Shuanchu and Udit? Yes, ma'am. Udit, is it clear, beta? Yes, ma'am. We don't say that I will brush tomorrow. Or I will brush every day. We always say that I brush every day. Or we always say that the sun rises in the east. We don't say that the sun will rise in the east. It's in the same way. We are going to visit my grandparents every year. No, it will be we go to visit my grandparents every year. This one. Go. Go is the correct answer. Yes, when we have this forest now is dangerous. Now it's okay, everyone? Yes, now I can hear the video. Okay. Yes, so now uh, you tell me, Rajdeep, number 11. Full of it's wolves. full of wolves. Yes. Tell me, Rajdeep. Rajdeep, are you there? Okay, Raj. Yes. Ma'am, can I tell? Wait, wait, wait. Let him tell the answer. I'm obstinate. Very good. What is the uh, spelling, beta? No. Option A is not correct. So, which is the correct, Yashika? Number B. Very good. Option B is the correct one, Ratsip. Because in the plural form, we don't add S after F. We replace F. Yes, we use B E S. W O L V E S. Wolves. Rahul and Priya are all. Okay. Tuhin, tell me this one, number 12. Ma'am, they. Are always fried in the morning because they go to sleep late. Excellent. Very good. Always fried in the morning because they go to sleep late. They. T-H-E-Y. They. Because there are two persons. Rahul and Priya. Then we have the desk. Okay. This one you will tell me, Yashika. Tell me this one. Yes, ma'am. The desk. Or the desks are, I think, opposite. The dash, the board in the classroom.
the tests are opposite to the board in the class excellent yashika ma'am is yes it's correct now you have to read the passage okay abhishekta read the first line beta Shuanshu, the spelling is correct. It will be W O L V E S. Ulfs. Abhishekta, are you there? Yes. Read the first line, beta. Ulfs. Did you know that the largest animal to have ever lived still? Rooms the earth today. Very good, excellent, Abhishekta. So, what is the meaning of the first line? It means that the largest animal that lives on the earth is still alive. So, it is still there on the earth. Ma'am. Yes, Shuanshu. Shuanshu, can you read the next Ma line? Ma'am. Yes, Shuanshu. Ma'am, there is a call. Can I? Yes. Yes. Go and attend it, brother. Yes, Rajdeep. Can you read the next line? He has blue whales are so big that even the biggest, biggest dinosaur that ever lived does not come close in size. So what is the meaning of this sentence? This sentence means that blue whales are so big that even the biggest dinosaur is not comparable to the size of the blue whale. Cannot be compared to the size of the blue whale. Okay. The next line, Tuhin, can you read it? Blue whales can be found. Blue whales can be found in every ocean of the world, including the Atlantic, the Pacific, and the Indian Ocean, and they are simply gigantic. Very good, excellent, Tuhin. So, what? Where can blue whales be found? Blue whales can be found in every ocean, which includes the Atlantic, the Pacific, and the Indian Ocean. That means if we can go into the ocean, we can see the. Blue whales, but don't make that mistake. Don't ever go under the water without any protection. Okay, the next line, Yashika, can you read it? And these blue whales are very big. Gigantic means very big. Yashika, from here, blue whales. Yes, ma'am. Blue whales generally grow between eighty to ninety feet long, but there have been reports of. Lens of one hundred ten feet. Very good, excellent. What can blue whales do? They can grow up to eighty to ninety feet no. and answer the. And there have been reports that they can grow up to the lens of one hundred and ten feet also. So they can go up to the one hundred and ten feet. Okay. The next line, Udit, can you read it better? Okay, I Rajdeep, you read it better. Ma'am, show me skin. Here it is. That is longer than. Can you see the screen? Is it? Ma'am, I do not see the screen. Is it now visible? Ma'am, I do not see the screen. Tuhin, Abhishekta, Yashika, can you all see the screen, beta? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then it's your network issue, beta. You can log off and log in again, Rajdeep. Tuhin, can you read it from here? That is longer than. Yes, ma'am. That is longer than three school buses put together. Very good, excellent. So what that 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 means that whenever you put three school buses side by side, the length will be longer than that. So the blue whales can grow longer than the three school buses if we put them together. Excellent, Tuhin. Avishita, can you read the next line from here? Blue whales can wait.
blue whales can weigh from anywhere between 150 to 170 tons. Very good. Excellent. So, what is the weight of the blue whales? They can weigh anywhere between 150 to 170 tons. So, this can be the weight of the blue whales. Okay. Now, Yashika, can you read the next line? In fact, just their tongues alone weigh more than an elephant. Very good, Yashika. So, what happens? Their tongue weights more than that of the elephant. We know the elephant is very heavy, but alone the tongue of the well weights more than that elephant. Okay, Rajdeep, can you see the screen better? Yes, ma'am. So read it from here. A blue well heart is of? A blue well heart is of the size of a small card and the main blood vessel is so big that a human can crawl through it. Very good. Excellent. So a blue whale has a heart which is of the size of a small car. So whatever is the size of the small car, the size of the blue whale's heart is almost same. And the blood vessel is so big that a human can crawl to it. That is the blood vessel of the um, blue whale is so big that a human can go inside and they can crawl through it. Okay. Now the next line. Tuhin, can you read it? The hearts need to be... Yes, ma'am. The heart needs to be that size because of the ten tons of blood that have to be pumped around the blue whales. You know, who was born body, uh, even a baby blue whale. Wait, wait, wait. To him, just one line. Excellent to him. So, what happened? Why is the heart of blue whale so big? It is big because it has to pump a lot of blood through it. What is the amount of blood that needs to be pumped? It is 10 tons. That is a lot of blood. Needs to be pumped around the blue whale's enormous body. Okay. The next line, can you read it, Avishikta? Even a baby blue whale? A question. Avishikta, even a baby blue whale? Baby blue whale? which is called a calf, each of the size of an elephant when it is born. Very good. Excellent. So what happens? A baby blue whale, with, it's, it is often called calf and it is the size of an elephant when it is born. So during the birth only, the blue whale is of a huge size because we all know elephant is very big. So it Whenever it takes a bath, then only its size becomes that of an elephant. Okay. The next line, Yashika, can you read it? Blue whales are solitary animals and usually swim alone in alone or in pairs. Although they do sometimes come together in small groups called pods. Okay. Do you know the meaning of solitary, Yashika? Uh, no. Anyone who knows the meaning of solitary yeah. class? Yes. Lonely. Lonely. Yes, very good. Lonely or who loves to live alone. For example, there are some people who don't like to mix in group. They like to spend their time by themselves. They will read some book. They can either read some book. They can either listen to some music. They can just watch TV. They can go through the social sites. But they will not ever mingle with people. They will not like to go in any type of gathering. It may be public or private gathering. They will not like to mix up with people. Is it clear, Yashika? Wish Ravishikta has told me the meaning. Yashika, Tuhin, Vajadeep, is it clear to you all? 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Great. So what happens? This blue whales, they often swim alone or in pairs. That a pair means when two of them are together, we call them pairs. Although they do sometimes come together in small groups called pods. Small groups means like there can be three or four in this type of group. We can never see them in a group of 20 or 25 or 30. Is it clear to everyone up to this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Tuhin, is it clear to you, Beta? Questions given below. Yes, ma'am. The blue well. website okay from the para that we have already read Rajdeep can you tell me this one Rajdeep can you unmute yourself and tell me this one is he there Rajdeep are you there okay Tuhin tell me this one Number 14. Tell me to him. Yes, ma'am. Option uh, uh, B. Very good. Excellent to him. Ma'am, I yes. think I read this para before with sir. Yes, maybe you have read it better. It's larger than the largest animal that ever lived on the earth. This one will be the correct answer. Number B. What does a blue... Okay, Yashika, tell me this one. Yes, ma'am. A blue whale eats krill, krill. Excellent. Very good. Well, eat... Let's find out what does a blue whale eat. Okay, let's read this paragraph. Okay, um, Avishikta, can you read the first line better? Avishikta, are you there? Despite their size, blue whales do not eat sharks or other big fish like tuna. So what happened? The blue whale is a large whale, but in spite of their size also, they do not eat shark or other big fish like tuna. So they don't eat big animals. Okay, so let's find out what do they eat. Is it Shatoki with the name of Shomik? Is it you, Shatoki? Shatuki, if you are there, please unmute yourself. Can you read the sign? Yes. Now I join for mathematics. You join for mathematics? But I think you need to join classroom um, one for mathematics. Today, do we have maths? Yashika? Yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, yes, she can read this line. Let me find it out. No, no, so mean. Instead, they feast on no, tiny so shrimp like no, animals called see. krill. Ma'am, I do not see the screen. You don't see the screen? Uh, Yashika, can you see the screen better? Yes, ma'am. It's your network issue, better. Everyone can see the screen, Rajdeep. Yes, yes, she could read it. Instead, they feast on tiny shrimp like animals called creep. Very good. Excellent, Yashika. 
Okay, Shatuki, the maths class will start from eight better and it will be in classroom one, not in classroom four. It will be in Sir's class. No, no, sorry, sorry. I only have the uh, mathematics class. No, it will be in classroom one. Very sorry, Shatuki. It will be in classroom one and it will start from eight. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Instead, they feast on tiny shrimp-like animals called krill. What happened? Instead of eating the big fish like tuna or sharks, these blue whales eat the small animals which are known as krill. Okay, the next line, Avishikta, can you read it? Blue whales? Blue whales have big plants full of bony comb like teeth in their mouths called balloon plant plants. Balloon plates. What happened? Blue whales have big plates. This is plates, not plants. What are plates like we? We have all seen plates in our home. It's almost shaped like shaped like that plate, and it is full of bony structure. Bony means it is not at all soft. The teeth is full of bones, and what is the shape of the teeth? Or how does the teeth look like? It is comb-like. Comb which we use to brush our, uh, for example, which we use to brush our hair, that is called comb. Or we use the comb to comb our hair. So the teeth of the blue whales looks like a comb in their mouth. And what is the name of the teeth? The name of the teeth is baleen plate. Okay, the next line, can you read it to him? The whale opens its mouth. The whale opens its mouth and fills it with salt water and krill. So what happened? Whenever the whale opens its mouth, it fills it. Its mouth with salt water because they live in the ocean. Obviously, the water will be salty, it will not be sweet like the lake or river water. And krill krill means those animals which the blue whales eat, the shrimp like animals. Okay, Rajdeep, can you see the screen now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, can you read it from here? Whether it filters. It infiltrates the water out, out through, out, out through the plates and the krill gets caught in the teeth, which the which the whale when eats. Very good, excellent, Rajdeep. So what happened? Whenever the mouth gets filled up with salt water and krill, they filter the water out through the plates. That is. The water comes out and the krill gets caught in the teeth. The water comes out from its mouth and the krill gets caught in its teeth, which the well then eats. The well then eats those krill. Okay, Avishikta, can you read the next line better? Blue wells can eat. Blue whales can eat over 8,000 pounds of krill in a single day. So it's a huge amount. Blue whales can eat over 8,000 pounds of krill in a single day. So in a single day, a blue whale can eat over 8,000 pounds. Okay. Krill yes. is very small. Yes, krill is very small, but 8,000 pound is a huge weight better. Krill almost appear like the prawns. We can, if we eat the small prawns also, then in a day we can eat only 500 grams too. If, if a person can eat a lot and lot of prawns, then also he will not be able to eat a amount of 1 kg of prawns. 
But here the blue whales can eat 8,000 pounds of krill. So it's a huge amount. Because, because of its enormous size. Yes, because of the enormous size and they have more energy, more than the human being. Okay. Now, uh, Yashika, can you read this line with them? Blue whales are? Yes, ma'am. Blue whales are also among the loudest animals on the planet and can produce sounds louder than a louder than a jet engine. Very good. Excellent. What does this line mean? It means that blue whales can create a enormous sound. More than a jet engine. If we have ever come across a jet engine, we can see that jet engine creates such a sound that it will be painful for us to hear it. But blue whales can create a sound which will be more louder than a jet engine. Okay, Tuhin, can you read the last line with her? When yes. the airplane flies, flies over my house, it makes a lot of noise. Excellent. Very good, Yashika. Yes, so they can make a noise that will be louder than that. Yes, Tuhin, read it better. They make a range of sounds in including clicks, mods, and groans that can be heard by other doers up to 1,600 kilometers away. Very good. Excellent to hear. So, they can create a sound 